this week the, because of the All-Star break and all that. The Pistons still played this week as the Pistons had three games this week. Originally four, but we'll discuss about that in a little bit. As the Pistons continued their great tank to win the, their second draft lottery in three years. As they're looking to go get their next franchise savior to complement Kate Cunningham and Victor Wembenyama. So of course the Pistons week it started off with a well, heartbreaking loss to the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas like 111 to 105. You know the Pistons played their asses off in the game but in the end they just defensively could not stop Luka Doncic. Which just shows how terrible Dwayne Casey is and still is terrible at defensive game playing. Like, you want to know what really would have helped Dwayne Casey in this game for defensive game playing? Not letting Luka Doncic drop 53 points. Like, don't get it wrong. Luka Doncic is a talented player and one of the best players in the league today. But letting them drop 53 points? What kind of defensive game plan is this? Like... At this point, I'm even trying to, I'm even questioning how the hell Dwayne Casey won a Coach of the Year award with the fucking Raptors. I mean, that's kind of mind-boggling, too. And, of course, originally, the Wednesday, the Pistons were supposed to play at home against the Washington Wizards. But that game has been postponed to a later date that hasn't been announced quite yet. We'll probably know real soon. As, yeah, that game got delayed because of inclement weather, and plus the Pistons point had some mechanical issues, so they were stuck in Dallas Wednesday, which forced which meant the league had no choice but to postpone the game. So, yeah, the Pistons ended up with three games instead of four. Damn. Yes, that's sad. So the Pistons then got an extended week, a few extended couple days off. We didn't have to play again until Friday when we had the tank game, tank bowl game. Against the Charlotte Hornets, as the Pistons are still are contending with the Hornets to try and win the draft lottery in the race for Victor Wembanyama. And of course, in this game, the Pistons actually played well. I Man, it's pretty crazy what happens when Bliss and Kill and the Pistons play garbage teams. It seems the Pistons are good against the teams that they should be. But then when it comes to teams that they shouldn't go against, they just have completely shit the bed. But the Pistons got a hard-fought win on at home against the Charlotte Hornets. So now we've gotten two wins over there goes Moby this year. We've beaten Moby twice now this year. And this one, I didn't even need to do a trash talk vid to beat Moby this time. I already did all my damage on him back in June, back in December. But yeah. Yeah, that's still a great feeling that we got two on Moby this year. Moby has nothing. But yeah, and of course, some um, Jay and Ivy doing the Ivy things, and Jalen Duran doing Jalen Duran things, and Bogdanovich doing things that possibly could boost his trade value up with the trade deadline looming next Thursday, February 9th. And of course, some um, Saturday they had a loss to Phoenix, which was about expected, with Phoenix contending to try as one of the top, trying to contend to be one of the top teams in the West. We had a Pistons drop to. Phoenix and that Pistons still remain in the bottom three in the draft order of the tank bowl for the first overall pick. With a record of now 14 and 40, so the Pistons are more are pretty much effectively at this point guaranteeing another losing season. Just pure and utter pain, you know. Just just the pains of a rebuild here. But in Sally for this year, the Pistons will have no all-star selected for the NBA All-Star game. Well, I mean, the only potential player that could have been selected for an all-star game is probably Kate Cunningham. But, of course, as we all know, Kate's out for the year with his shit injury. So, woof there. But, that's the bad news. The good news is, though, Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duren have both been selected for the Rising Stars game. So, at least for the second year in a row, the Pistons will have at least one player representing in the Rising Stars game. Of course, last year we had Kate Cunningham representing that game. This year we have both Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran representing. So, yeah, that's pretty good there. You know, and I think just the fact that we've had three players in the last two years represent the Pistons in the 
Rising Stars game, it just shows how great of a job Troy Weaver has done in getting young Blue Chip Town over to the 313. The Pistons, like, this team 100% has some talent, you know? Now, whether the Pistons can get the rights to Victor Wembanyama in, in the summertime, that's yet to be seen. Whether the Pistons can win their second draft lottery in three years or not. But still, definitely, you know, Weaver definitely has the team trying the right direction. You know, the Pistons just need to get a new head coach and get rid of Dwayne Casey to get over that hump. And Troy Weaver needs to go bring his guy in. Because, yeah, like, you know, I think it's, all, like, it's just becoming a running record at this point about how much Dwayne Casey needs to go and be fired. But yeah, and of course, the trade deadline looming on Thursday. What will happen? Of course, the two rumored players for the Pistons on that trade block have been Bovon Bogdanovic and Sadiq Bey has even got some interest too. There's even some talk about Alec Burks. And the Pistons have shown also interest in like Nolan, Norwin Noels and maybe some other players. So it'll be interesting to see what Troy Weaver does at the deadline here. 100% I think the Pistons are going to be sellers or they're going to stab Pat. I mean, it's going to be tough to say, like, I think all, like, all signs point that they should trade Bogdanovich while his value is high. But for some, but the Pistons might keep him around long term, you know? We'll have to see what the side on Thursday. I mean, would the Pistons trade Bogdanovich if someone threw a King's Ransom at the Pistons? We'll have to see, you know, either way, regardless of what happens Thursday, you know, I have 100% good faith in Troy Weaver to do his job and do the right things to get this Pistons team to be competitive. You know, even though they got a complete buffoon in Dwayne Casey, a head coach right now, like Casey definitely 100% needs to go, but I think, I think for Kay, I think Sally for Casey, where I think we're stuck with Dwayne Casey for the rest of the year. I don't think Troy Weaver's not going to fire him until after the season is over. You know, because, you know, the more we keep Dwayne Casey around, the more better our odds become at getting that first overall pick to draft in Victor Wimbanyama. But, yeah, at least we got something to look forward to at All-Star Week and know what Jalen Duran and Jay and Ivy right in the Rising Stars game. At least we got that to look forward to. But, yeah, once again, another piss, another year where Piston doesn't represent the All-Star game. Maybe in 2024 with Kate Cunningham and Jane Ivy next year. Maybe Jalen Duran too. But that's kind of put by what's kind of not push our luck there. You know, let's at least get through this year in the offseason and see where we are in 2024. Of course, I'm all, I'll go back to covering the Red Wings again next week. You know, this is us. We're pretty much with the all NHL All Star break this week. It's pretty much my break from NHL content. You know, just focus on maybe the Pistons this week. But yeah. And I will have a couple NHL trash talk videos out this week. You know, maybe on three Canadian teams of Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver. A little Canadian West Coast triple bill. But yeah, like in terms of NBA trash talk videos, um, there's really not going to be that many from here on out. Because I actually, after the Houston video, I've actually caught up on all the ones I wanted to do for now. NHL, I've got a, still a few that I've got to do before I'm caught up there but yeah you know you know if anything ever comes up that I can get some dirt on for NBA you know you bet your sweet ass I'll do an NBA trash talk video but you know you know just you know is what it is but you know of course I'll also have hate series coming up in MLB season since we're quickly approaching on spring training in the next month or so but anyway, though, as we have also now completed our first month of 2023 entering February. But as the Pistons tank for Victor continues on for another week. But yeah, even though the Pistons are complete ass, they're still getting one step closer to Victor. I'm out and fired Dwayne Casey.